What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Thank you guys for joining me on another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Shiba Inu. Before we get started, I wanted to give a uh, big shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, joining me. Soon, this is going to fill the whole entire screen. And I can't wait for that because, you know, I really do appreciate all the support that I do get from you guys. So thank you so, so much. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to break down um, Shiba Inu. I think this is a, a clear thing that we need to talk about is what's going to happen in 2022. What's that next thing that we could see as a catalyst? Because with crypto coins, it's all about popularity, um, in my opinion, and it can be different in your opinion. It's all about popularity. Now, I'm not really the biggest fan of The Motley Fool, but uh, this is where this article comes from, The Motley Fool. I do have another point that I want to bring up at the end, so I'm going to try and make this um, really simple, um, you know, go through it and, and on simple terms. Unless I have a lot to say about that actual catalyst, um, then we can go into detail there. But guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. If you guys don't get notified um, when I post a video, then feel free to subscribe to my Discord or follow me on uh, Patreon so that you can get access to the Discord uh, because all of the videos go on there, um, whether they go up, you know, five minutes after the fact, um, you're getting it, you know, pretty quickly compared to what you would with YouTube, where if I post three videos, you might not get the other two. Um, you might not get notifications for the other two. So definitely do that and uh, hit up the Discord group. And uh, also, you'll be supporting my channel in a big way. But um, let's go ahead and dive into this. I think we said enough. We're going to be looking at the price and then we'll break down some things. So this is what Shiba Inu looks like today. It is up 2.95%, uh, almost 3% here, um, up to about, about 3,700 um, in the day. You have seen that it started to decrease down to um, um, a level, sorry, that's 3,700. It started to decrease and came back from a level of 3,800, um, falling down to where it is now close to 3,700. Um, so for some reason, I thought this was a lower point, but you know, Coinbase was just weird to me. Um, in the week, it's down 22%. Uh, in the month, it's down 36%. In the year, it's up 62 million percent. That's definitely a huge uh, plus. And you can see the, the volume is down about 1%. So not much change with volume. Typical hold time uh, does look really good at 35 days. So that consistently goes up. Popularity is 10th. You do see the market cap is over that $20 billion mark. So that's great to be able to see. Now, uh, if you haven't seen my um, last video talking about um, the circulating supply. I hope that the, they add more to the circulating supply, whatever's left, so we can get to 100% being out there and we never have to worry about any more dilution with the circulating supply. I wish they would have just gotten it over with, but you know, they didn't. So anyways, um, what we're here for is to break down the catalyst. So this is the Motley Fool um, uh, article here that has the five biggest catalysts in 2022. I think this is something we need to really take into account. And obviously there's other things that get into it, but the first uh, catalyst is AMC accepting SHIB. I think AMC accepting it, you're creating a HODL mentality. Same thing that you do with like loop ring, you're creating that mentality, which essentially will increase that price based on the amount of popularity that you gain. You're essentially, um, uh, creating a merger between the two companies by a, by being able to do that. Now, I'm not a person that likes to use my investment money towards uh, buying movie tickets or anything like that. My investment money stays my investment money. And then I use that uh, the gains into other investments, further investments. So it's not something I'm using to buy anything with um, typically. So um, for me, it's not something that I'm into. I know that it will be a catalyst that can bring this thing up, that can uh, launch it. I just don't think it will launch it as high as people think. It's just gonna be a form of accepting payment. Um, you've seen a history of um, when they do, uh, when uh, other businesses do accept payment, you really don't see that much of a jump within the cryptocurrency. It's great for the currency, but it's not um, everything for the currency. So uh, that's what I had as number one. The second one is, uh, the launch of Shibirium. Uh, so apparently this is a layer two blockchain um, that will uh, improve scaling um, and speed up the processing times associated with the network. So that's obviously good to be able to improve the scaling of it, lower the fees, which is a really great point of doing anything. Any If you pay less to do any type of transaction or anything you wanted to do, that's a plus. And um, just being able to have that out in the news, I think that will be an impact. 
again, I still don't think it will be a like the biggest impact that you could possibly see, but it will be an impact, one of those catalysts that you can see a decent size increase from. The next one is uh, the Oshiverse. So the updates on the Oshiverse, um, basically this is a term being used to describe a uh, play to earn video game that will be available to users running iOS and Android on their smart device. Obviously any type of connection between that um, is great. So um, that's gonna be that little bit of a catalyst. Again, I don't wanna make this video super long, but if you guys wanna look into it a little bit more, you definitely can, but that will be that little catalyst that you can see, you'll maybe see a little bump off of it. But again, I don't expect this to be the biggest uh, impact to it, right? And I will get into the biggest impact. We're gonna go through not only the top five, we're gonna go through the top six, and you probably can guess what the last one is that I'm actually bringing up, not Molly Fool. Um, the next one is the listing on Robinhood, right? A lot of people talk about that and that's been, I've talked about it previously and it's been in everyone's minds, right? You have 500,000 signatures where um, you want it listed on Robinhood, people being able to trade with it because it'll be very, very popular. And people know that. I think Robinhood knows that, that it would be super popular. As soon as it gets listed, it would be a huge catalyst to where it, it bumps up the price a hell of a lot because people have access to buying this without paying any type of fees. Um, so that's, that's something in itself. I think it will be a pretty big jump. That will probably be a very, very substantial jump, uh, followed by probably a, a pretty sizable decrease as well, just because you're going to see, um, everybody that reacts to it. You're going to see a bunch of probably people that day trade or swing trade out of it. And, um, you know, see it pull back and be like, all right, well, I know this is going to pull back for the next coming years. I'm going to go ahead and pull out. And then when it gets to the lower point, I'm going to buy back in and then, you know, let it run. But I made, you know, whatever X uh, uh, multiplier by, uh, you know, doing that, by trading that at this level up to that level. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. But I do think that will be a substantial jump, a substantial leap. Now, um, also you have uh, Shiba Swap uh, staking. So I think staking is a big point. I think this will be a huge catalyst because it it uh, makes people hold on to the position. And when you hold on to positions, um, that's where you start seeing the stock go up. Uh, you know, or not the stock, but the investment. Uh, I was thinking about GME and AMC because you think about GME and people are holding on to it, hold on mentality. Think about LRC, tied to GME, hold on mentality. You think about AMC, it's, uh, has that hold mentality to it. So when you do have that, you have that ability to increase that position by a hell of a lot because you are holding on to that position. So uh, yeah, this is going to be huge to be able to gain some sort of passive, passive income by holding Shiba or staking Shiba is definitely a great point and will be a huge catalyst to this position. I think the biggest one out of these five will probably be the Robinhood listing just because there'll be so many people that buy into it without having to pay a fee. And I think that's a big point. Now, the last piece that I wanted to add here uh, as they get into it and they, they always give their recommendations and everything. Um, um, what I think would be a great catalyst and will be a great catalyst is a massive burn. I think we will see a massive burn, um, which is the last article that I went through in my last video talking about how they were going to burn some coins to, um, you know, make it comfortable, I guess, to enter the metaverse and all that stuff. Um, and I think that's going to be a huge catalyst burning off coins, whatever percentage that is, that will increase this price by a heck of a lot, not only increase the price just because of the burn, but also increase the price because people are seeing that it burns and it, ha and it has a lot more possibility to grow. So if they get it back down to 394 trillion, I still think that will be an impact. If they get it down to like 200 trillion, I think that will be a huge impact to, um, what we're going to see here, even half of what it is now. So 250 trillion would be an amazing impact to where that price would actually go. We would see that hit 0 0.0001 very, very quickly if that did get down to a level of, um, you know, 250 trillion instead of being at 590 uh, or 589 trillion of a total supply. So I think that will be the largest impact that you could possibly see uh, in 2022. And I think we will see um, a decent sized burn within this year, this next year. And then as we go forward, we'll see more and more burn. Maybe they might do a level of like a 30% burn every single year. And if they do that, I think by the time we see that level of maybe 10 years or so, we're definitely going to see what I think is going to happen within that long term uh, you know, time frame. 
So anyways, guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. That's my, um, you know, 2022 catalysts. And uh, you kind of, ex kind of can extend that to 2023, 2024, 20, uh, you know, 2031 if you want it to. Uh, but anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, um, another big thank you to all of the Patreon members. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Every single one of you, I really do. Um, but I'm going to get out of here uh, again. Hopefully your investments are going well every single day and uh, you find ways to make money every day uh, because uh, that's, that's all I care about. I care about you guys making money care about me making money. I care about, you know, everybody that's a regular investor making money and not these hedge funds and institutions. I want you guys to make money. So anyways, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.